O come, desire of nations, make one the hearts of all mankind. Bid thou our sad division cease, and be thyself our King of peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, December the 22nd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 138, and Jude, chapter 17, or chapter, Jude, verses 17 to 25. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I thank you with all my heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. Psalm 138. I thank you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I face your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and for your truth. For you have glorified your word above all. In the day when I cried, you answered and strengthened my soul. All the rulers of the earth shall praise you, O God Most High, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yes, they shall sing of your way, for great is your glory. Though you are high, you respect the lowly, but the proud you know from afar. And though I walk in the midst of trouble, you revive me. You stretch forth your hand against the anger of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. You make perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O God high, endures forever. Forget not the work of your own hands. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I thank you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. The lesson is from the letter of Jude, beginning at verse 17. But you, beloved, must remember the predictions of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. For they said to you, In the last time there will be scoffers, indulging their ungodly lusts. It is these worldly people, devoid of the Spirit, who are cars causing divisions. But you, beloved, build yourselves up on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Look forward to the mercy of God and our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And have mercy on some who are wavering. Save others by snatching them out of the fire, and have mercy on still others with fear, hating even the tunic defiled by their bodies. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling, and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Amen. Here ends the lesson.
into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you, O God Most High, with all our hearts. Bend close to your lowly servants. Let us hear the words of your mouth, and make us perfect in your ways, and save us from our enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.